Hi, my name is Brad, and after doing some touch-up skim coating and some sanding, we're going to be applying some spray on orange peel wall texture. So this wall texture is made by Homax. And now we have to go this far. I'm trying to feather it in by just kind of going a little bit circular. This is our fifth video in this major kitchen renovation of my sister Shelly's house, and we're so glad you're here. All right, we're a little bit more prepared today. We've got the floor covered. Shelly went out and bought some canvas at Sherwin Williams. I've got the window covered, the outlets covered, and then I've got plastic here. So this is a dual grit sanding sponge, medium on one side and fine on the other. And so today we just need to lightly sand. We're not going to do a lot of sanding. I don't think there's going to be a lot needed, but we're going to lightly sand. And then after that, we're going to actually spray on some texture. So normally on your third skim coat, you're going to water the mud down some. And when you apply that, it's going to dry quicker. And instead of using sandpaper to sand that in, you're going to use a moist sponge. And uh, you're going to also, at the same time, by the way, clean the wall off. So all that dust is going to come off. So it's going to be cleaned up before you paint that primer on. Now that looks pretty stinking good. I'm very pleased with this wall. So you're supposed to remove this tab. That's, that's as fine as it'll go. And to go heavier, you turn it this way. But I think we're going to start with fine. It would be closer to eggshell. But we're going to do a test. So remember to shake this for a minute. I'm guessing you push down on this white top to spray. Man, does it stink and it goes out wet. I'm gonna go to heavy just to see what happens. Yep, that's heavy. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to light. Yeah, there it's a little smaller now. This is fine. Walls and ceiling have been painted so many times, so her wall is kind of a hybrid between flat, nothing, I mean, and the orange peel. So I'm debating whether or not I even want to use this because when I spray it on, it looks like it has maybe a little too much texture, even at the finest spray. So I think what I'm going to do is spray it on there, maybe before it dries, kind of slightly wipe it just to kind of uh, make it so it's not quite as pronounced of a texture. So there's an art to this, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. It's just a flip of the coin whether or not to use this, but I'm going to try it. I sprayed the blue, I probably shouldn't have. Let me get you up closer so you can see. So here's the backsplash here after it's been primed. And I want to show you how good this turned out. It's got the texture on it. This is our fifth video of this major kitchen renovation of my sister Shelly's house. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a video because we are definitely going to be uploading more videos of Shelly's kitchen renovation. Okay, it's 10.07 in the morning. And I'm going to start painting the ceiling with primer. Hi, Brad. Silver Lining Daydream. So today we're going to roll Shelly's ceiling with a primer. And so I'm going to use a half inch nap. It says it's for semi-gloss to rough. It's a little bit more of a nap than I normally would use. I'd like the 3 8 inch. But uh, let's see. Let's get going on this. 
So I've got paint on the roller. We're just going to let it sit there for 5-10 minutes just to kind of soak up the paint so it rolls a little better. All right, it's 10.40 right now, so we're two-thirds of the way finished priming the ceiling. So just to kind of give you an idea of how long it took to get that progress. So, all right, let's get going. You might be wondering why I'm not using one of those extensions. Well, the reason I'm not is because I have better motor control just holding on to it if I can. I can do a lot better than using that extension. So we're down to about a tenth left of paint, so let's just go at her. So wherever there's mud, it just really sucks in the primer, so I want to go a little heavier on the mud. So here I kind of forgot where I left off. Yeah, so we'll just kind of bring it in. Actually, we need some paint in here, so... Just kind of feather that in for now. Whoops. Looks like we're gonna have to clean that light a little bit. There we go, much better. Get up there, little insulation. That's it. Now we're talking. Whoop. Whoops, looks like the camera fell a little bit. So it's about 11.20, I think. I slowed down a little bit and I'm all done priming the ceiling. All right, it's about 11.20, the ceiling is all done. Turn the lights on. I think what we're going to do is just above the window and uh, the sides of the window and by the walkways now. Because of all that mud, I'm putting it on very thick. Shelly's painting the window white, so it probably doesn't matter if I get it. Just because that yellow is causing clutter in me, I'm going to go ahead and paint over that. Alright, I think we're golden. Ceiling is done. As soon as it dries, we'll put those um, little lights back up. To kind of come in on some of the handiwork. A little, like I said, a little bit more texture than I want, but I've got that, you know, sweet. You can come on over here and kind of see. This is probably the texture that the ceiling had to begin with. I'm really happy with this seam up here. That turned out really good. Yeah. Super good with the backsplash. So the top coat's on, and I'm just putting the recessed lights back up, these ultra-thin LEDs. But uh, this is the um, warmer light. It's a little bit yellower than the other lights. So I'm just going to show you here. I think there's like four settings, but the little box that's up there, you just slide this. Maybe there's three settings, but uh, they give you little directions here, and uh, they tell you how you can do that. Okay, I did switch it back now. It does match. There's my nemesis, so I've just been gradually building that out there with mud. And uh, 
Now I'm just kind of cutting it out, but I, I think I better not have the camera on here. It's gonna all break off. All right, so I got a lot of it cut out here. Walking on eggshells while I'm doing it, so I kind of did it like in a pie cutting mode. And then I've just been gradually, very slowly, kind of just cutting it off. I got some of this quick dry spackling compound on there. We'll smooth that off in the morning and put primer on it. So there's my nemesis. I got a little bit more spackle on there. I think this is the best I can get this. So I'm gonna paint some primer on there. The spackle is dried. I just sanded it again. So I put some primer on there and it has dried. So I got this little roller and I'm gonna put on the ceiling paint. Now the top coat. Took all my, uh, went this way with all my rolls. That's the same direction that I had done before. So here I am at a distance. Let's see if we can see it better. We'll see how it is when it's dry. So it's starting to dry a little bit. It looks pretty good. So I think what we'll do is when they put our cabinets in, it kind of scuffed the ceiling here and there just a little bit. So it's a good time to kind of clean that up too. There's my nemesis. Turned out pretty good. Thank you so much for watching our video and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a video because we are definitely going to be uploading more videos of Shelly's Kitchen Renovation. Until next time, thanks for watching.